It's important when you come into a, a flooded house to not rebuild too soon. It's, it's very important because what can happen is if this wood has not had a proper amount of time to dry out, you're going to be sealing up that water inside of that cavity. You're going to be putting plastic on there to keep that moisture from the inside to going out. And they're going to just create a perfect place for mold to grow. And you can actually see around this corner here, if we test this wood, This wood here is you want to below 15% moisture content. It's already down to 11%. This homeowner did a nice job of opening up this house and airing it out and getting that moisture and that wood to dry out. But if we look in this corner over here, we can see if we test the moisture, it's upwards of that 17% there. There's upwards of 22, 23% moisture content. And actually you can see a little bit of mold growth that has come back since this moisture in the corner was holding mold. If I cover that up with insulation and drywall, that mold's just going to continue to grow. We're down in the basement. What we want to talk about while we're in here is some of the uh, issues that you look at as far as rebuilding and, and, uh, and some of the moisture problems you might have. When we take our moisture meter and look at the moisture level of this concrete wall, you can actually see it's up at 40-50% moisture content. So if I come through here and I take my framing and put it right up against the wall like this house has, and I come and put insulation in between that and put drywall on the outside of that, I'm trapping that moisture in behind that wall. I'm creating just a perfect living environment for mold and mildew. The one thing to absolutely remember is no matter what, if you rebuild, you want to let it dry out as much as possible. And also not put untreated wood up against that cold foundation wall. That moisture comes through, it could come from through the foundation, it could come from inside, and that wood up against the wall, if it's not treated wood, it's going to mold and it's going to mildew and you're going to have problems with that. So what I can do is I can take a rigid insulation, put against that solid wall, and that doesn't have the same moisture issues with that. The ideal situation is to insulate on the outside.